Now to the latest in the mass shootings in the state of California. Seven people are dead after a shooting in Half Moon Bay that happened overnight Monday. And this, of course, comes after 11 people were shot and killed in Monterey Park. ABC's Rena Roy is in Half Moon Bay tonight, tracking the latest on both of these cases. Multiple shooting investigations underway across the West Coast. In picturesque Half Moon Bay just outside of San Francisco, officials identifying a possible motive in the massacre that left seven dead and one injured Monday evening. Only known connection between the victims and the suspect is that they may have been co workers. Police say the gunman, 67 year old Chun Li Zhao, opened fire at two farms one mile away from each other with a legally purchased semi automatic weapon. Cases like this, we've never had. One in this county of this many deaths at one scene. Hey, up. Hours later, the suspect found in the parking lot of a police substation and arrested. Now, authorities investigating another shooting in Yakima, Washington, looking for this man, 21 year old Jared Haddock, suspected of killing three people at a Circle K convenience store on Tuesday morning. The suspect still on the loose. Uh, this is a dangerous person and uh, it's random so there is a danger to the community. Uh, we don't have a motive. We don't know why. This comes after 11 people were killed during a Lunar New Year celebration in Monterey Park, California over the weekend. All of the victims in their 50s, 60s and 70s now identified, including Sho Juan Yu, 63-year-old Leland Lee and 68 year old Valentino Alvaro, a father and grandfather. His family saying, We hope that he danced to his heart's content until the very end and hope that he is now dancing in heaven. And there is still no known motive in the Monterey Park shooting. Officials looking into a potential domestic violence scenario. Rena Roy, ABC News, Half Moon Bay, California.